Hello, dear friends. There are days when it is better not to get up in the morning. Opinion piece. We have been here before. Cyber warfare. The world is a PC. Computer patches. The storm of the century. The black swan is free. Economic disruption. System upgrade. March is the most difficult month. Piracy to create a crack. The old god is, is hard at work. Wave of defaults looming. Pers persistent threat advanced. Series of catastrophic misfortunes. The light will overcome all this madness. The creator changes the source code. Programming is transforming. The dark side works with illegal piracy. Coalition works with quantum patches. Shake out the old programming. Stay away from drama and rumors. Financial reset button has been hit. Kiyosaki says Credit Suisse will be the next. Charlie Ward says it has just begun. Banks won't lend to each other because they don't trust each other. Let's start. We have been here before, said Gandalf in Lot of the Rings. Gandalf is a wizard sent to Middle-earth to help its inhabitants in the fight against the Dark Lord Sauron. There he took on the appearance of an old man with a long grey greyish white beard, dressed in a lush grey cloak, a pointed blue hat and a large staff. This is nothing new to those of us who have followed this discussion, but I won't reproach them, I told you so. Sceptics. News reports tell of bank failures and treasury bond failures that are dragging banks down. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank illustrates this and a string of failures will follow. Robert Kiyosaki predicts that the next bank to fail will be Credit Suisse and this could hurt Europe. Charlie Watt says this has only just begun. It is called the famous Black Swan event we have been waiting for. There is nowhere to go but to the banknote printing press or to announce Gisera, which has probably been the intention all along. Also, it is almost anonymous that we are close to currency revaluation. This is not new. According to the storm rider, this is nothing new to those who have been following these four cuts for the last two and a half years, as they have been warned about the coming event. They are using this event as a false flag to hide other things. The truth is that the banking collapse took place in October 2021, and since then the stock market reports have been raised. In the last two years, thousands of banks around the world have closed, including major insurance and retail companies in Germany, France, the UK and the US. For the past five months, major banks and investors have been pulling money out of banks. Friday was the signal for the collapse of the banking sectors in the public domain. Now the big financial reset button has been pushed and there is turmoil everywhere. This, this comes just as China and Russia see the biggest rise in their market and the Chinese Yuan replaces the dollar as the main trading currency. The original plan of the duck side to use CCP money has been blocked. Xi Jinping stopped the CCP's duck investors from giving them the money they needed. Middle Eastern countries have been cancelled <coughs> their alliance 
their al al allegiance to the Davos Forum. Bin Salman stopped sending two billion to Davos and went with China. The bad guys hoped the troubles would keep their agenda, but they have failed. Both the dark side and the coalition want a banking collapse for opposite purposes. The White Hats have a game theory operation they call the plan. Right now, the good guys are forcing the dark side to collapse. Trust the plan. Metaphor. Metaphor or allegory is a type of analogy or association between elements that share a similar meaning in order to substitute one for the other in the same structure, and it is the best way to explain a process as complex as the one we are living through. Computer science helps to explain what is happening in the world as a metaphor. If you want to destroy an operating system, you have to infect it with viruses or cause a series of catastrophic hardware disasters. The bad guys want to destroy it to make it worse. The good guys want to transform it to make it better. But they both match the unavoidable need for a system upgrade to fix bugs, make it better or worse. Both the dark side and the coalition want the banking collapse to occur for opposite purposes. Upgrading is the process of replacing a product with a newer version of the same product, or scheduling its obsolescence in the worst case. To update is to make something current, to make it topical, or to aggregate data or standards in order to adapt it to a new situation. Current means pertaining or relating to the present time. Present means the time in which the action necessary to adapt to the new circumstances takes place. Patches. This updating is done by means of patches. That is why today we are seeing so many patches coming from different sides, trying to modify the system in their favor. The creator works with patches to the source code. The coalition works with patches to binary files. And the dark side works with patches of illegal hacking to cause a crack. Vulnerabilities are often exploited to carry out the infection. A patch is a temporary and ultimately unsatisfactory solution to a problem that sometimes makes the situation worse. It is a thing attached to another thing that detracts for the main thing. It is a poorly done touch-up, especially in painting, or a botch job, as we say here. That is to say, a job that is badly done and without care. In Mexico, chapuza means swindle. A computer patch refers to the various changes that have been applied to a program to correct bugs, update it, remove old sections of the software, or simply add functionality. In computer science, a patch consists of changes that are applied to a program to correct bugs, add functionality, update it, etc. A system is a method or procedure, a set of rules or principles about a subject linked together, which contribute to a particular goal. An operating system is a program or set of programs of a computer system that performs basic, basic functions and allows the development of other programs. Its purpose is to manage information for the proper functioning of the PC. These programs run in privileged mode with respect to the others. Virus. A virus is a program sur surreptitiously introduced into the memory of a computer that, when activated, affects its operation by destroying all or part of the stored information. A computer virus is software, software that is intended to alter the normal operation of any type of computing device, without the user's permission or knowledge primarily, to achieve malicious purposes on the device. Viruses replace executable, executable files 
with the files infected with their code. Viruses can intentionally destroy data stored on a computer, although there are also more harmless viruses, which only cause anyone's or unintended damage. Antivirus are programs that try to discover the traces left by malicious software, to, to detect and eliminate it, and in some cases to contain or stop the contamination. They try to keep the system under control while it is running by stopping known routes of infection and notifying the user of possible insecurity incidents. Hardware is the set, is the set of components that make up the physical part of a computer. It refers to physical tangible part of a computer system, its electrical, electronic, electromechanical components, cables, as well as furniture or boxes, peripherals or of all kinds, and any other physical element involved, make up the hardware or physical support. On the other hand, the logical and intangible support is called software. Offensive. A cyber attack is an attempt to expose, alter, destabilize, destroy, eliminate, to gain unauthorized access to a use an asset. A cyber attack is any deliberate offensive exploited maneuver aimed, aimed at taking control of destabilization or damaging a system. The attacker is an individual or organization that attempts to gain control of a computer system in order to use it for malicious, malicious purposes, information theft or to do harm to its target. A cyber attack uses malicious code to corrupt code, private data or algorithms, creating consequences that compromise and breach the security of systems. Cyber warfare. The concept of computer warfare, digital warfare, cyber warfare or cyber refers to the displacement of a conflict, which takes cyberspace and information technologies as the field of operations. It could also be defined as the set of actions taken to produce alterations in the enemy's information and systems while protecting the information against the attacker's systems in order to produce an economic disruption. These attacks are also classified as cybercrime, specifically financial crime, because they adversely affect the company or group. An advanced persistent threat is a set of stealthy computer processes orchestrated by a third party with the intention of attacking a given target in an advanced and continuous manner through multiple attack vectors. This malware is installed using exploits that exploit vulnerabilities in the target machine. An exploit is a piece of software, a piece of data or a sequence of comments or actions used in order to exploit a security vulnerability in a computer system to achieve an undesired behavior of the system. Opinions. Max Sira says 30 banks stopped tra trading on Monday because of the bad strike. The Kremlin says, in quotes, every cloud has a silver lining. Putin believes the bipolar world began to break down after the collapse of the Soviet Union. HSBC swaps to rescue the UK arm of Silicon Valley Bank for one pound, but now they have to provide liquidity to stay afloat. The stock market is propped up because troubled bank stocks have been blocked. Judy Bington believes that 10th March 2023 started a black swan event and a global race against the banks even as the mainstream media failed to report bank failures around the world. Anyway, it is just a sideshow to divert attention from the dark side's loss of control. Three messages. Trading disclosure by David Leifschultz. This banking crisis was caused because bank, banks invested in bonds 
at low interest rates several years ago, and now face rising interest rates as the Fed raises interest rates to stop inflation. The bank bought bonds paying low interest rates, and the price plummeted. It doesn't mean there will be a collapse if the banks are technically insolvent, if depositors do not call in their money that was invested in the low interest bonds. But such passivity is, consider is considered unlikely because of the unleashed alarm. Puffin says, the old god is working hard to make it sure their puppets take care of business. Rest assured that the white hats are still at work, and the thrilling changes you see, you can see, are like the fires of change in action. It is the changing of the god and destruction process they said would have to occur to complete it. The light will overcome all this madness. Some blank some bank clashers are fully on your doorstep and will be controlled. Stay away from drama and rumors. Good will win out and it will only take a little longer. Message from JFK Jr. Some of you are doubt what you have done to fight this fight. Friends and family thought you had lost your mind, that you were peddling conspiracy theories, yet you are still there here. You are searching for the truth. You don't care how ugly it is. No subject of is off limits to you. All you want to do is to know what is true and left alone to live in your God-given freedom. You pray not only for yourself, but also for your enemies. Your heart cries out in pain because you feel and see the world suffering. Don't give up now. Hold your head high. You have done more than you know. Economy. Financial panic leads to gains of up to 3% in sovereign bonds over three days. Wall Street consolidates the rebound as the Nasdaq soars 2.14%. Big Wall Street banks anticipated the Silicon Valley bank collapse and hit portfolio losses in their accounts. The three failed bank banks had used their depositors' money to buy special mortgage bonds, but these bonds were toxic assets. Inflation loses steam and allows the Fed to lift its foot off the rate accelerator. Banks will not lend to each other because they no longer trust each other, so interbank liquidity has been frozen. First Republic Bank of San Francisco fails. Regulators close another bank to contain the fallout from the collapse. UK's Barclays Bank announces it will close 40 more branches. The largest round of clashers means that more than 100 local banks will close for good this year. More banks close as the domino effect continues. Europe. Euribor falls sharply on fears of a financial crisis. The Euribor records its biggest fall in eight months and makes mortgages more expensive. The European Union will require reporting of crypto assets to raise more than 2.4 billion. France puts Spain's region on green hydrogen in check. The rebound of the banks allow the IBEX to exceed 9,100 points. Valencia and Catalonia have the highest taxes and Madrid the lowest. BBVA claims that the pension reform will destroy up to 200,000 jobs. Inflation in Argentina exceeds three digits in February, up to 102.5% year on year. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.